it's uh, the way we live and the way we carry ourselves. You know, even if, if you've been in the Lord for even, I, I say here, you know what I'm saying? We've been teaching and preaching the word of God. Amen. amen. It, it should be some some type of growth. Amen. Amen. And um, God want to see some growth in us in this season. Um, what type of fruit are we bearing? And I, I used to, we used to hear that word like, dang, um, what type of fruit are we bearing? And uh, we used to think that we look at the people and, and uh, you know what I'm saying? Because we saw on season thinking, are uh, they bearing fruit? But now nah, Christ ain't talking about that. He's talking about when he say, what type of um, fruit are you bearing? Is what are you yourself as an yeah. individual? Are you bearing good fruit? You know what I'm saying? Are you walking in love, peace, joy, happiness, meekness? I mean, do you got peace? Um, when things come about you and stuff, do people see the same old you? Or do they see, see a different you? You might come across a circumstance. Amen. And um, something somebody, somebody might have did something to you or whatever. Do they get the old person, the old you that you know you ready to Kirk out, or or do they do they see the one that got the holy the Holy Ghost of God in you, the one yeah. that be like you know show some mercy and some type of grace? Do they do they see that in you, or you just ready to Kirk off on anything? But God don't want us to be that way. So this this season right here is a season of uh, self examination. Yeah. As uh people you know they write resolutions and stuff like uh, next year I'm gonna do this and do that yada yada yada. We all done did that before, and, you know, I'm going to lose this amount of weight. Next thing you know, a week go past, guess what? You're right back doing the same thing. <laughs> Amen. So, you know, um, um, we, we, why put all what you can do today to, uh, to that, uh, tomorrow with what you can do today? Amen. 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 So Jesus is the reason for every season. As you notice when the summer come about, it, it, it's, it's like a change, a shift in the atmosphere. It's like um, everyone, like... You can see a lot of people a little bit more cheerful, you know, but you still got some Scrooges out here, amen? Uh, yeah. You got some by humbugs, amen, or some Grinches that just want to just be doom, doom and gloom, amen? Don't have no type of love, but that's necessary, amen? Like, people be like that, but you can see like a little shift in the atmosphere. We know that Christmas uh, is is a pagan holiday. We know that, amen? We're not amen. ignorant of the devil's devices, amen? But we're not focusing on uh, no Santa Clause, no Satan clause, amen. It's just right. switch your words up. We not we not worshiping no devil, amen. amen. We worshiping Christ, amen. He is the reason for the season. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So we not we we over here, we we love the Lord. We yeah. it is just not on Christmas that we worshiping and uh praising the Lord, amen. We worship and praise him every day. Yeah. You are we are the every day, amen. Even when you wake up with your, with the fruit of your lips in your heart, you're like, Lord, thank you for another day. Amen. You know, a lot of people did not wake up. That's right. A lot of people are sick, shut in. You know, he's going out to try to feed the homeless people, you know. And you, it, it, it hurts, you know. But it was a blessing just to ride up, though. Yeah. And I, we seen all them people out there. I said, damn, they out there feeding these people. Yeah. Then I looked over there, some more people feeding them. I mean, they was getting blessed, man. Yeah. So I was like, Lord, you know, um, it went nowhere for us to park. So, and sometimes God used wisdom. God, thank you, Lord. So he wanted us to use wisdom in that situation. So we kept the stuff. So we're going to wait. And so we go see something during the week. I was trying to see, ask Boone, did he know any places where people are homeless? And do if y'all know any spots where, you know, we know people down the street, they get taken care of, man. They do. That's why we don't want to go down there because it's already people down there every day of the week going down there feeding them folks. Amen. Like and and they, they really not down at the park. Huh? DuPont Circle? Okay. That's a good spot. Yeah. DuPont okay. Circle. Okay. That's good. That's a good spot we might hit. I was thinking about somewhere in PG County. Whatever we we gonna get this stuff off, amen. We wanna bless the people, and in doing so, you know we we see see people smile and stuff. That's a good thing, man. It says it in the Word of God, and um, in this season, it's about serving people. It's about loving one another, loving your neighbors, amen. Uh, we had a, a great time because it was it was proper this Deneen birthday. It was not only her birthday; it's my daughter Tayana's birthday. Talked to her, sent her a couple of coins. She was happy. And um, Judy birthday was fourteen. We gotta get over to Judy. And um, you know we got little Carl birthday coming up. Little Tay Tay. They not gonna remember it because they're young, but we get to re reap the benefits of their birthdays. Hey, Amen. <laughs> when they have a birthday, they going out. Guess what? We get to go out too. <laughs> yeah. But it may not feel good because we the ones gonna be spending the coins. Hey, Amen. <laughs> Tay about to be four. Tay about to be four. 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 Yeah. Yeah, four years old, man. That's an old man in a young body, man. Yeah, that's it. Goodness gracious, he'll talk a hole in your head. No, that ain't right. He be like, man, he, got, he can hold a real uh, uh, true argument in, in conversation with him. Yeah. 
And these little kids are amazing, man. They are amazing. But that little boy right there is so smart. Yes, he is. So smart, man. He, Very smart. We was in Dave and Buster's. I said, Carl, <laughs> he was already reading what it said. I said, read that, Carl. How does he, two years old? He read the whole, everything. He, he, from all the letters, he knew it. Yeah, I said, did. wow. Praise wow. God. Very That's smart. right. He's Very smart, good. man. These little kids, man, they, they are so bright and loving. Amen. Look at that. Take out the meat. Thank you. Amen. They might get on your nerves a little bit, make you want to whoop their little hind pots. Amen. <laughs> but they loving. Yeah. But it's a season. It's, it's everything. Like, stuff happened. Like, we, we've been mourning in this season from other states. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Miss Betty lost a good friend. Who else lost somebody in here that, uh, that passed away recently? Uh, uh, some, you see what I'm saying? It been a lot. It been a lot. Wow. Mm -hmm. Say. Mm -hmm. Say, man. Got another funeral to go to. See. It's been a season of mourning. Amen. It's been, but it says, after, uh, it's been a time, and verse 4 says, it's been a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn. You know, it's, it's necessary to mourn. Yeah. Some people don't want to mourn. You know, it's part of the season. Yeah. If you, you know, we lose people and you lose things, you lose jobs, when people hold that stuff in, you know, but they, they, they putting up a mask because you got to let that stuff out because if yeah. you don't, it's hard to go out in, in, in your car and scream if you want to scream. Hey, Amen. But don't scream at no, nobody yeah, else. Right. But yeah, like, man, you know, you 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 mad, you mad. You, now you, but Lord touched my heart. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? In this season, you know, it's been a lot of heaviness. Yeah. It's been a lot of strange things happening. Yeah. It's been a whole lot of stuff. Yeah. You know, but it says, and the time to dance. So God said, I will turn, turn that morning into dancing. Amen. Amen. You know, you put on the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Amen. Yeah. That's the part of worship. It ain't just coming in, in the house of, of the Lord on Sunday morning to lift up your hands and praise the Lord. No, you worship every day. Amen. Every day at home, when you're walking down the street, you know, you got the Lord on your mind. You got the Lord in your heart. Thinking about family members, thinking on the good things. I say, Lord, ask the Lord to take me back to the good stuff that, I, that used to happen. I'm tired of thinking about all the negative stuff, man. Right. The devil want to put in our head and our mind. So much negativity, man. I be tired of that stuff. So I try to put myself... Think on some good positive things. Try to put my you gotta put yourself around positive people as well. Because if you put yourself around a sap, that's what they call them, people that would suck, you know. Sap yeah, sap suckers. There you go, mom. They sap all all your all your, what you the had and pull you down to their level, man. That's saying you know you all you want to walk around and don't you you know Jesus is the reason for the season. One day, next day you know like Bah humbug! I hate everybody. <laughs> I just want to go do this and that. You know what I'm saying? You gotta watch the people that you're around, amen. Yeah, yeah you better. And you gotta, you gotta. But when the people that you are around, amen. If you got the spirit of God in you, you gotta walk in the spirit, regardless of what what they are doing. Amen. You can't, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes we hadn't been saved for like uh, since we was born. Y'all know that we was born into sin. You know, so we got to be careful as as we walk in and stuff because we can we can resort back sometimes. I, this fleshy thing will go back. I, I want to tell you something. Go into some of these stores right now. You know, everybody jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Hey, everybody singing along and dancing. And that one of the old songs that come on that uh, we used to hear. Are you down for me? <laughs> or some go go or something. I used to be in the back here that. I was like, oh man, I'm right back to my old self. But you know, but you got to get back. You're like, hold up. Mm -mm. Lord, come back in the spirit. Let this flesh decrease, for your spirit can increase in the name of Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it, it'd be like that sometimes. And go with me and um, go with me to uh, Isaiah chapter 9. Isaiah 9. Good word this morning, right? Y'all don't even want this place feeling refreshed. Restored, even right now, from the worship. Good, God Almighty. Oh, God. From the worship. Yeah. You already, you should be there already. Right. On cloud, cloud nine. Amen. Feeling good about Shout yourself, out. amen. Isaiah chapter nine, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to start at verse 
I'll start at verse 6. This is one of the famous Christmas scriptures. Amen. And you know, this this right here, when people say that Jesus, what we call him, his Hebrew name is Yahashua. Mm -hmm. When they say Yahashua is not God, take them to this scripture right here. In the old, you ain't even got to use them in the New Testament scriptures. Go right to this scripture right here in the Old Testament. Well, go, okay, so he's not God, right? He's not the Father. So let's go to Isaiah chapter 6. Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6 then, buddy. That's all you can take me to. And what does it say for you? For unto us a child is born, and unto us a son is given. This was way before Christ was even born. He wasn't even, he didn't even come. This was years before he was to come to pass. Prophet Isaiah, the Lord, this man was powerful and mighty. God was really using him. He, to write these words and stuff, was, he's talking nothing about the, 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 the Lord Jesus Christ to come. All Just about everything. It's so powerful, man. How God, oh, my goodness. Amen. He said, for unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. See, he called him the child and the son. But well, watch this. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. The government of his kingdom. Even this kingdom right here, this earthly kingdom. God said, I set up kings and I tear down kings for a season. Amen. That's why you see presidents in office for like four years. That season is up for them. Unless they win. Yeah. And if they win again, they get another season to be there for them four years. But God is the one that placed them there. Amen. God is the one that placed uh, the police officers there, the good ones and the bad ones. God is uh, the one that placed all of us here. The Bible says that it rains on the just and the unjust. Yeah. So it, it, the God, when the God put the people there, it's a, it's a story in the Bible about King David. I mean, they took the throne, and uh, Saul's family, you know, it was only one person alive, just about that, that was alive from Saul's family, and they were searching him out to look for him, but he was, the, the boy was touch, petrified, and his legs was messed up, mm -hmm. but David said he going to honor Jonathan, because, which whom uh, was Saul's son, whom he loved, amen? amen. He, he said, if I find somebody that's in your family, I'm going to treat them like they're my family, so he brought him in, but David was going out after he did that. David was on, going down through the streets and stuff with his with his army, and it was a person that was for Saul. You know, he was, Saul was the king before David, yeah. and he was talking trash to King David, I, I, to the king, like by himself. Oh, you done took the throne, you done did this and this, blabbering off at the mouth. Then his, his, you know, King David army, when the chief army said, "You want me to chop his uh, head off?" You know, and all that. You gonna let him sit there and talk? Let me. I go get him. David said, "No, don't touch him." Because if, he talk, if he's talking that way, God is the one that placed him there to talk that way. God, God is, the, God is a, a rod of correction. He used people to chastise his people. Yeah. Amen. He used people, that, and it might be at a devil, but they do it, maybe cussing you out. God is using that person to see how far along you have came. Yeah. Amen. So you got to look at it that way. So if you're walking in the spirit, you got to see things as a, from a spiritual eye to know that you know what I'm saying? It may be a test. And or sometimes it, it may be sent from God, but sometimes it can be sent from the devil too if they try to put their hands on you. Amen? Yeah. That's a whole total different story right there. Yeah. But nevertheless, it's a test. It's a test. That season. You you think you probably done got far away from what you used to struggle with. Next thing you know, that same temptation will rise up again in that season. Amen? Amen. You're like, man, I thought I done got past this. And you find yourself slipping up on it again. Or you may find yourself like, you know what? Not no more. Mm -mm, I'm good. Thank you, Jesus. Amen? Amen. So just keep a spiritual eye with everything that's going on around you. Please. Amen? Amen. 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 Let, God, let the word of God be the truth and let man be what? A liar. A liar. There you go. Now, and it says, then the government shall be upon his shoulder. Uh -huh. And what it say? Read that somebody for me right there. And his name shall be called. What? His name shall be called. Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Amen. Amen. So, Amen. so in all this scripture is wrapped up. He was the Son. Amen. Amen. <laughs> what does it say? In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Amen. 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 Everything. By Hashem, he was right. Hashem is God, but by Yahashua was with him. They together. In Jesus' name, there is only one God. There's only one God. But thank you, Lord, for being a father. In the times when we need a father, a loving father, when, when this person ain't there for you, that person ain't there for you, and you're going through so much stuff, he the one that be there will hold you and whisper to you, say, daughter, I love you. Sister, son, I love you. I'll never leave you for, nor forsake you. I always hear him say that to me when I'm going through some bad times. I always hear that still small voice. Never leave you nor forsake you. 
That is, you know how confident that is right there? Because he know we going through. And he's talking, who been going through? In this season right here, I try to put the year in like four quarters. What is it? January, February, March. That's the first quarter. April, May, June. That's the, Am I saying it right? Or am I off a bit? That's the second quarter. July, August, September. That's the third. Then we got October, November, December. That's the fourth. In this season, so we're going to leave uh, the fourth quarter. This season right here, have it been real peaches and cream for anybody in here? No. no. It, it seems like it's been bricks and mortar, haven't it? Yeah. Everybody talking trash. Hey, man, you got this going on, so much warfare. Yeah. This person, you you going out, you go around your family members, they talking trash to you, cuss you out, call you all types of names. But the child of God that you know you are, you ain't nothing, you ain't losing. You ain't no man. Yeah. Yeah. You ain't nothing. You ain't nothing. They say, man. <laughs> all that stuff going on. Oh, oh you talking? I do it now. I don't want to hear that. Oh, you shut up. You shut up. You shut up. They, this is back and forth. And that's your job. You go to work. Here you go. Your little corny little co-workers. Here they come with their little problems. Here they come with their, their foolishness. Oh, you. Man, I, done, I watched this on TikTok. Oh, man. I'm girl. Oh, man. All this and that. Blah, blah, blah. Man, shut up. I'm trying to get a peace of mind. Just you? They still talking. <laughs> Kenny, they don't let you dead. This won't let up. It's like the enemy. He just constant. Go to sleep at night. Here come the devil with them corny dreams. Wake up in the morning. He right there with you with the food and stuff. You trying to praise the Lord. Here he come. No, it's like nonstop. But sometimes, you know, in Psalms 91 and 1, we call it uh, Psalms 911. Yeah. Those that dwell in the secret place of the most high. Yeah. Shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And she read our scriptures this morning. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. Yeah. The righteous. We are righteous in the Lord's sight. Amen. Oh, yeah. We in not in, in of ourselves ain't nothing righteous about us. But in Christ. Amen. amen. We shall run into them and be safe. Yeah. Run into the arms of the Savior. Hey, amen. Yeah, amen. And verse 7 says, of the, of the increase of his government and peace, there should be no end. Whoa. When God set up his kingdom. It's going to be peace non-stop non for a thousand years. Amen? Amen. That's another story. We ain't getting to the millennial age. We ain't preach on that yet, but we will. It says, upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Out of his zeal, all this stuff going to come to pass. Yeah. Every word spoken, it shall come to pass in this season. Every word that's been prophesied of you, it may not came to pass yet, but wait for it in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Wait for it. And, for, and Proverbs 15 and 23 says, A man have joy by the answer of his mouth. Mm -hmm. And a word spoken in due season, how good is it? How good is how good is to hear a good word in this season right now? Yeah. Saying that God love you and God is for you. Yeah. And if God be for you, who can it be against you? And, and, and you start speaking the word, trust in the Lord with all your heart. And lean not into your own understanding, but in all your ways, acknowledge him. And he shall lead your path. It's a good thing to hear them words Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Instead of always firing brimstone, say, you're going to go to hell. You're going to go to hell. You're gonna... No, you're not going to hell. If you're saved, through the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. 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 If you're in God, in God saying, who can snatch you up out of his hand? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. It's a time of praise and worship in this season. Amen. I don't care what you're going through right now. You might be down. You might be stressed out. You, I don't know what you're going through, but God knows. And God want to tell you this morning that he loved you and cared for you. Amen. But you got to believe and receive that in your heart. Thank you, Lord. God loves every person that's sitting in these chairs right yes, now. He does. From the oldest to the youngest. Mm. Dad, you don't beat everybody out with the oldest one. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. And then in Luke chapter 2 and 11 says, For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. Oh, Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. And I want to give you a definition of season. I got it out of the, um, the King James Dictionary of um, Bible that they got. Season. Season is literally, literally signifies that which comes or arrives. Yeah. And in this general sense, it synonyms with time. A fit or suitable time the convenient time the usual or appointed time as the messenger arrived in season in good season this fruit is out of season amen you can say some things is outdated it ain't gonna last throw it away amen yeah you can't throw christ away praise god praise we may god. try to throw him away 
Amen. Amen. But God, he's going to be there if you want him or not. Amen. But in season, uh -huh. God is here for us. Thank Reach you, out man. and grab him. Just say, Father, touch me right now. Amen. Yeah, right now. Say, Father, I, I need you. Like, I, I just can't make it. Lord. And, I, and, I, and I need you to break something. I need you to shake something, Father. Move in my relationship. Yeah. Move in my household. Move, move in my kids, Lord God. Yeah, move yeah. in my workplace. Move, Lord. move, Lord God. When I'm moving, going about down the street, Father, move with me, Father. You said yeah. Jesus is the reason oh. for the season, God. But you're the, you're the reason for every day, every situation, God. Yeah. We need you. Yeah. And cannot make it without you. And then verse 3 says, I said 3. I mean, I'm reading the definition. My bad. And it says, one of the four seasons. I just told you about the four seasons. But yeah. they go, this is another one. Divisions of the year. You got spring. You got summer. You got autumn. You got winter. How did it feel like outside to y'all yesterday? Did it feel like uh, spring, summer, fall? Fall. 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 Yeah. But it, was, it got warm at night. It was warm out there. Yeah. Wow. You know, um... God say he's he gonna change the times and seasons up so people won't tell which one it is. And you can tell. But Christ is still in control. He's still in control. They feel like a nice winter day. It feels nice a lot of winter time. Because you can dress the way you want to and feel warm. In the summertime, you can't you y'all can't wear that outside in the summertime. They people gonna think y'all crazy. You can tell them well, I'm trying to uh, sweat off a couple of calories. <laughs> yeah, right. You out of your mind. And, and uh you, whatever you wear outside in the summertime, you just be hot. But in the winter time, you can suit up to be warm. But people will say, well, I like it, rather have it spring or, you know, fall. Who would rather have that? Raise your hand. Spring or fall, spring or fall raise your hand. Yeah. Amen. Fall. I'd rather have it any way the Lord has it. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I love the winter time, but, you know what I'm saying, but spring or fall is nice. Spring, uh, quarter words in the spring. I ain't even going to say it. But it, it's, uh, <laughs> you, springtime be sweating and humid. Be sweating like a little pig out there. I hate it. Might be a, uh, just chilling. Next thing you know, you just dripping in like that. You sweating. Yeah, I'm hot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It says the season is mild. It is cold for the season. It's gonna be cold. And it been some. Um, who heard about that tornado? The tornadoes that touched down in the yeah. the middle of the of, of the country. Yeah. Man, that thing was rough. They say they never had a tor some tornadoes that were that went that long. Like you know, usually come down and go like some miles and go back up. That they say that's that tornado went two hundred, well like twenty seven, two hundred thirty miles on the ground without lifting up. You see how much uh, destruction it did. Man, I seen them uh, houses. I said, oh my god, I felt so bad. And you know, we don't even get that here. So can y'all get God a hand clap of praise that we ain't seen the lights of that yet? Amen. We might have had a little small earthquake, but we or uh, little rain showers that may flood it up. And, and you know what I'm saying? When the floods come, you see them little mice and rats uh, floating on the water. Amen. Oh, <laughs> you know, but when you see the, um, because D.C. is faster. But you, you you be in Florida, and man, they said in Louisiana when it was the, um, that, that, that thing, uh, what's the, the tornado name? Y'all know what I'm talking Tsunami. about. Tsunami. What up? They had some. Katrina. Katrina. It was one after that, too. They said, man, people was uh, trying to get through the water, but it was alligators in the water, oh, man. No. Yeah, so people was getting ate by the alligators. Some people I've seen on um, 1,000 Ways to Die when I used to watch them when I was in the world, hey, amen. <clears throat> I don't watch it no more. But when Katrina happened, right, it was a church. And, you know, people came down, was coming from everywhere to help the people. But these two girls that came, oh, no, they, they said it was going to help, but they really was going to look for, like, you know what I'm saying, if I'm finding some money or anything I'm going to find, I'm going to take it. So they went to try to go in the church and they went in the basement. But it was water. It was filled up at the bottom. But, you know, they weren't thinking, thinking we're going to go down there. It might be some money, you know, from or some gold or whatever. So they got in the, They didn't know there was electric wire that was, you know. Oh. But they stuffed in there. There was like french fries. Both of them trying to get it going. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So we got to be careful. You know, things, things that we look at in the natural and what it seemed. They didn't know that wire was underneath there. Wow. Do you think they knew what it was under? If it was underneath, did they run down there? No, nope. nope. amen. Wow. Unless they wanted to be some French fries, mm -hmm. and that that's the same. So stuff happens. Yeah, it does. Stuff happens. So we gotta be careful, amen. 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 And then, in Psalms one forty five fifteen says, "The eyes of all wait upon you, Father, and get, and you give them their meat in due season." Isaiah fifty and four says, "The Lord God have given me us." Y'all, amen, everybody. 
have given us the tongue of the learned that we should know how to speak a word in season to him that is worried. Have you been worried and heavy elated and going through really right now? Feeling low down and you just need to be up, uplifted. God is the lifter of your soul. He said he wakes morning by morning. He wakes my ear to hear as to learn. And then Matthew 25 and 45 says, who then is a faithful and wise servant? Who then? Are y'all trying to be faithful to the Lord? A wise servant. Yeah. Whom his Lord have made rule over his, his, uh, his household. To give them meat in due season. Mm -hmm. That's what we try to give you. Some people in this season, it's time for you to step up. And to shift your mindset and your thought process. Some of y'all are not babes no more. Yeah. You know, you're not babes no more. So it's time for y'all to get the meat. And we've been, we've been giving meat and milk. Some people uh, is babes in Christ and they don't know much, so they got to get the milk. But it's some people that are supposed to be on the meat, but one, one prefer to try to stay on the milk still. It's time to get off the milk and get on the meat. Amen. You know what I'm saying? When, when, um, when, we, when I gave myself to the Lord, when I first started becoming a pastor, you know, at first God was a little more lenient with me, it seemed like. Amen. And he really was, you know, because I was going through some things, doing stuff. It was like a simple-minded person, because I, I, you know, I was coming about on my own. But now he, he holds me a little bit more accountable for my actions and stuff. Amen. This is like, uh, yeah, as children of God in this season, amen, it's time for you to get on the meat. God going to start holding y'all, some of y'all accountable, all, all of us, amen. He holds us accountable with everything. Yeah. But, you know, it's time to step up in, 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 in everything that the Lord wants you to do, amen. It ain't just coming to church on Sunday. How you living your life during the week? Yeah. Amen. How you living your life during the week? Yeah. Your, when you go before the Lord, uh, your lifestyle gonna testify against you. He gonna show you your lifestyle. It's gonna be a flash before you. And you know he gonna people say, "Dang, he got judge all the people." He's God. It ain't gonna take him long to do uh, nothing. He don't take him long. And time, he's not in time. Amen. He's outside of time. We're in time. Time is of the essence with us. We don't have that much time. So where are you going to be at on the day of judgment? Amen? No. You want to be at the right throne judgment? Amen? Nope. With the, with the goats? Nah. No, if you're in Christ, you, you, everybody got to go before the beam of seat, the judgment seat of the Lord. But, you know, we, us as the righteous of God, we're going to go there. You know, he's going to see our works or whatever. You get a crown, you may not get no crown. But I want crowns, but I just want to be with the Lord. If, even if I don't get no crown, if I, I'm with you and I want to be with you, I want to hear good Job well done, my good and faithful uh, servant. Yeah. Because you was, who then is a wise, a faithful and wise servant who his Lord had made a ruler of his household to give them meat in due season. In those seasons, I was, we was constantly with our hands to the plow to be a follower of Christ and not look back to go back to the patterns and things of the world. It's so easy to go back to, the, uh, to Egypt. It's so easy to go back. Especially when the seasons are rough. Some people are like, man, I just don't even want to do this more. I want to serve the Lord more. I don't want to go all the way with him. I, 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 was, I was living real lavish when I was out there in the world. And it felt like I had no cares in the world. But I, I was on my way to hell. Y'all be on your way. You was on your way to hell. But God snatched you about. Thank you, Jesus. So in this season. Amen. No one clapper. Two clapper, three clapper, four clapper. Five clappers. Amen. So if you want to... <laughs> So if you want to rededicate yourself, your heart back to the Lord, and you know you can, you, you ain't gotta come up here and flood the pulpit. Oh, dang! I ain't, what's that? Is? Man, my hands. So, no. <laughs> <laughs> I should be asking if you, if you are. Amen. <laughs> 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 so, now, y'all, <laughs> But if you want to rededicate your heart to the Lord, it ain't just about it. Ain't it ain't about me? It's about the Lord. You know, you know what you need. Yeah. Don't worry about nobody else when they look at you because when you go before God, I'm gonna have to go up there. He might have me and Denny up there together as one because we became one flesh. And how we govern this church, he I think he would have to do it that way for that. Amen. But I think for our lifestyles, amen, it's gonna probably be a separate, you know what I'm saying? It got, it's just gotta be that way. So if you want to rededicate your heart to the Lord, you can. Stand on your feet. And also uh, I got a song I want to pray for y'all. Just to encourage y'all. Amen. Amen. Amen, Dad. All right. There we go. We got one.